Hi, my name is Chris Canal, and I will be teaching the Arduino course on Monday, March 24th from 6 to 9 p.m. And I hope you'll be there. So this video is to help you install the Arduino IDE, which you will need to put software onto your Arduino in order to make it do stuff. Uh, so let's hop right into it and install that IDE so that we can get right into the course on Monday at 6 p.m. when we get there. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start by going to my internet browser, whatever that be, Chrome, uh, Safari, Firefox. I'm gonna open that up and uh, then we're going to type in the search engine whatever search engine you want, Arduino. Now we're going to go to the Arduino homepage. It's www.arduino.cc. It's an Italian-based company, so... Uh, so we're going to navigate at the top to download. So we're going to download the ID, and we're going to click right here. Oops, screw a little too far. On the Arduino ID. It's kind of uh, near the topish middle part of the page. And now it says Arduino IDE, Arduino 1.0.5. You're going to want to make sure it says that and not a beta or something else. Make sure it's this page. And then we're going to go to Mac OS X. We're going to click on that, and it's going to start downloading. Hopefully your internet connection is fast, so it won't take too long. And we'll skip ahead. Okay, so it just finished downloading. Uh, we're going to go ahead and double click on this zip file to open it. And now, uh, it opens like that. It's uh, in the downloads part of my computer. Uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure it runs right from here just fine. Okay, we're going to click on open. Okay, and it runs fine. You don't need to worry about the last message. That's just because I had already pre-installed Arduino. But it'll run from your download section. If you want, you can move uh, this file to your applications, uh, which makes it a little nicer, and maybe even create a shortcut, which is uh, pretty easy to do. If you navigate to your applications, do uh, create alias, as they call it in Mac, make alias. It appears right there, and I can just drag it over here, and oh, there it is! Yay, good job! All right, so that's how you—that's all you need to do to get started, and uh, everything else from there, including libraries and some syntax, we won't do until the actual class. So look forward to seeing you then.